the fact that each and every one of us is actually earning, earning a daily income, you know, for moving and uh, or, you know, maybe holding the token as well. You know, there's a lot of different uh, tentacles to this platform, but uh, it's just I'm just grateful to be here and to share tonight a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of like the presentation, how I would want to see it, you know, and it, that's what's beautiful about this opportunity is each and every one of us that have been presenting, whether it's uh, Marnita Casa or Brandon Ivy or Herschel Crow or Quentin Bradford or Brian Rhodes or, you know, Mr. Bill, Mike Bill, we're all sharing the concept from the heart. You know, what we feel is the value proposition and whatever that is, guess what? It's involved here. It, it, it's so many beautiful things that are happening in this community. Uh, it's some, it's, it's becoming sort of a safe place in crypto. <laughs> That's number one for me. You know, I've been in crypto since, uh, 2015, 2016, I've been through a lot of platforms and concepts and, you know, I can honestly say, uh, they haven't all been great. You know, let's be honest. Everything doesn't always work out. Right. But I can definitely say, um, uh, this one is starting out to be, uh, something different, something special, something, uh, just, um, I don't know. It's just has that it factor. You heard about the it factor before? People saying, oh, it has that it factor, right? Sorry if y'all heard that. I kind of jumped ahead. But, you know, the thing they say, oh, you have that it factor. You have, whatever, what is it, you know? Well, that's what this is. It's kind of setting the table, setting the bar when it comes to looking at opportunity, looking at platforms in the space of crypto, blockchain, decentralization, home-based business, uh, as you know, as all that connects and meets, here we are with this platform that is called Get Mining Current, Get Fit Mining currently, but it's moving into a it's in a transition period right now, moving into a new brand called MoveQuest, right? And uh, we're really excited about it, you know, because in the first seventy or so days, we are being led by someone that's been doing this for the last probably longer than the three years that this platform has actually been around. But the vision of this person, the character of this person, the heart of this person, the desire for this person to do it the right way is really what's carrying us through the very early stages, you know, and it's a very volatile period. You know, let's be honest. We launched something that had never been done. That's never been done. Never probably will be duplicated in a very volatile space already. Just home based business or entrepreneurship, you know, with cryptocurrency and blockchain and all the other things that we're integrated into here. Um, it's been incredible to see what we've been able to deliver to the market. So with that being said, I'm going to get into the presentation. And again, we're going to have a special speaker here. Ms. Lynette Arton will be on tonight as well to share uh, a little bit of, you know, by the numbers of what we're really dealing with when it comes to us communicating and, and really uh, connecting as a community in a collaborative effort to increase the value of this platform, the cone, the token itself and reach the world, right? And there's things that we can do. This is driven and built by us. So I'm gonna get into that here, okay? So Get Fit Mining has evolved over the last three years, like I said, into a groundbreaking move to earn blockchain ecosystem. It's inspired by the original Bitcoin white paper, the evolution of Get Fit named MoveQuest, launched on the Avalanche blockchain, uh, is designed to be a fully decentralized platform with a self-sustaining ecosystem driven by its peer-to-peer -peer community right? Driven by us, the people, right? When I first read the Bitcoin white paper back in uh, 15 or so uh, and started to really dive into it and really everybody thought it wasn't going to last. Let's be honest. No one believed it. It was a very small amount of people, the innovators or the, the first, I would call them onlookers of the tech, of the technology were just, it was hard to mine. It was hard to grasp. It was just, it was hard. And now you fast forward now to 2024, you can't turn the TV on or or, you know, even watch a football game without seeing a crypto.com commercial, right? It's really starting to take shape and it's really starting to take over, right? It's the number one uh, asset in the history of this planet. That's what Bitcoin is. Just to let you know, when people ask you, what's Bitcoin? Or do you know about that little Bitcoin thing? Don't, it's not little, it's massive. It's really, really important, right? Because it's birthed a lot of other things. And this is one of them, what we're doing today, right? That evolution. <laughs> of time and technology evolving over time and improving over time. And people like Miss Lynette Arden, the smart, talented people that are able to build things around it is the reason why we're here, right? Getting off the tangent a little bit, but I'm passionate about this. So it is what it is, right? So significant milestones. I don't know why this keeps doing this. 
the presentation is acting different tonight. So significant milestones that we've accomplished in the first 70 or so days, and there are more, but these are pretty significant. Number one, we launched on the 21st at a dollar. That was a success in itself, right? Just launching the idea, launching the concept was huge, right? Uh, we, we were number one on core market cap for about 30 days consecutively, gaining and trending. That was huge. I had never seen a token do that. Uh, it was because of the momentum. It was because of the value proposition that we had, the self-sustaining ecosystem. It was performing, doing extremely well. And we started getting the attention and the eyes of the communities outside of our community. And uh, that helped as well. But right now, we're just settling in. We're, we're becoming more stabilized. We're, we're starting to find those who are really here for the project long term. And, uh, you know, we're kind of weeding out some of the, you know, the actors that seem to show up all the time. It is what it is. But um, we're having a lot of fun. And people are having a lot of success. And each and every person that's involved, I want y'all to put a one in the chat. If you've been earning since day one, being involved in this platform, since you got your miners turned on, you got your uh, your evolution process done, and you've been moving with these bands or moving with your phone, let me know in the chat with a number one if you've been earning every single day. No matter what it is, the average person's earning about $80 a day. The average across about five to 6,000 people, I think we're in that range now. That's impressive. So let everybody know in the chat that you've been earning since you've been here. Global health impact. Can't talk enough about that. People losing weight. People just, you know, we had a lady that had a testimony about how she's her clarity for her mind because of an accident that she was in. She feels like this platform has helped her, you know, start to work on her um, neuro neurological situation. It was powerful. You know, we've heard we've heard people have those testimonies, no health claims or any of that. But the product is the body. And I've never seen, I've been in and out of health and wellness for a long, long, long time, coffee and shakes and pills and potions and lotions and all that stuff and sold it all. Right. And I've never seen, this isn't really a product. It's a concept that involves the body because you have to get up and get out of a sedentary lifestyle and move more. People are having a health impact, right? Better sleep, drinking more water, losing weight, of course, right? Getting off medications. These are things that I've heard, not making this stuff up in like 70 days. So Imagine us being here 90 days from now, a year from now, two years from now. Uh, as long as this blockchain is running, we're going to be here. It's pretty awesome, right? MQT reached $100 September 6th. Had never seen it before. Never been involved with it. And uh, it created wealth for a few of us. A lot of us, probably. It depends on if you bought the token and, you know, you held it and, and all that. And you watched it go from some pennies to $100. It, it was amazing. It still is amazing. I can look at it every day. It's it's incredible, actually, right? But we're just getting started, and we have more vision than that. But that was something that was unprecedented. I have never seen, and uh, Lynette will tell you a little bit more about that as well. There's so many records and things that we're probably br we're breaking, but we were moving so fast we weren't even paying attention, to be honest. That was just one of them because it was significant. A hundred dollar token, come on, right? I think XRP is still hasn't hit four about four dollars, <laughs> and it's been around for a decade. All right, it's impressive, right? Five K accounts. Uh, mining. We're probably a little over that number now. That was impressive as well to have 5,000 wallets actually mining every single day. We're approaching 10K. That's the magic number we're looking for. We're going to get it done here in the next few weeks. 10K is a done deal by the time we hit Vegas. Promise you that. 4 million paid out to the field. 4 million liquid into the wallets of people on this line and all over the world. 4 million in right over a month. Think about that. That's more than significant. That's life changing for a lot of people. We've got testimonials, people being able to purchase vehicles and pay off debts and get out of situations that they were stuck in. And I myself was, you know, thinking about what am I going to do next, you know, down to the last of the last and thinking that a lot of us have those stories because, you know, we were we were searching for something. They say what you're looking for is always looking for you. And uh, it couldn't have been a better situation for myself and a lot of people. So four million dollars is nothing to sneeze at that that's huge that's huge so take a look at this trailer that was done by our incredible dev team our amazing uh, de uh graphic design team we have some amazing people behind the scenes that are putting together a brand that i believe will shake the industry when you get your hands on it we're going into beta phase this weekend i believe we are really really, really close to actually launching it to the whole community the new brand the new logo the new experience the new aesthetic of move quest you get to touch it feel it use it and be happy <laughs> that your enrollment flow is a lot better, right? That too. So take a look at this video and you get a little idea of what we're talking about here.
pretty sweet, huh? That's the new branding. That's what's coming. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, that's the teaser. You know, that's the trailer. But when you see the app, when you see, you know, just just really get a feel for, you know, just being proud because you're going to be able to go on the app store and go to Apple and go to Google and say, I was a part of that. I had a hand in this brand becoming a global brand. That's what we're building here, right? Something big, something massive, something viral. That's what we have our hands on here. It's a lifestyle, right? And I just share with you some of the stories. You can see why it is a lifestyle. It's not just some some app, you know, some crypto thing. It's really bigger. And it has so many different angles and dynamic things that it can do for people. Uh, it's incredible. It's pretty amazing to see it taking shape here, right? So why the move quest stands out? Number one, I mean, you know, it's not a startup, you know. This project has been in the works for the last three plus years, right? With a phenomenal dev team, a competent team that knows what they're doing. They understand technology. They understand uh, cryptocurrency, blockchain technology. Um, that's number one at the very top. Probably should put that here. A competent team is number one. Community driven by you and me. There's not a lot of projects that are really dependent upon the people. It's always dependent upon outside investors or some type of you know, a uh, raise of, of funds or something like that. This is different. This is really driven and it actually turns this economic wheel. Like Mr. Crow likes to say, it actually feeds itself. Right. And it's driven by you and I, we actually own it. There's no owner here. There's no company. There's no address. It's decentralized. So the people actually, the peer to peer, remember based off Bitcoin tokenomics, peer to peer transactions, peer to peer, uh, you know, um, ability to share it with each other, you know, ability to have input on what takes place and be a part of the process. The community is all inside of that, right? Us, the people. Decentralized. We love decentralization, right? It basically means that we can move finance, we can move information very, very quickly in a world where there's no intermediary parties, banks, institutions, governments, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, controlling, right? It's a beautiful thing to have control. Now, there's a lot of responsibility with that as well. We talk about some of that stuff. Self-sustaining ecosystem. Just spoke about that, right? It's a wheel that's forever turning as long as we're doing what's required. Submitting those numbers, claiming, uh, you know, evolving. All these things that are inside of this platform create that self-sustaining, self-funding ecosystem. Really, really special. Not a lot of projects have, hardly any have. As a matter of fact, a creator says it doesn't even exist right? The liquidity provision. That's something that we had never seen before. And we've all seen it in action. And it's, um, again, <laughs> unprecedented stuff. No one has a, a liquidity provision that infuses, uh, uh, you know, money or infuses liquidity into the project when it's necessary without a button being pushed. It's an algorithm. It does its own, it does, does its own, on its own, right? Protecting and sustaining and, and keeping the project healthy right it's very very impressive to watch so number one to me i mean again i haven't seen this and i've been in crypto for a long 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 time i've seen projects that attempted to do this and are still attempting to do it years and years ago you know the idea is great but to be able to actually put it to paper and actually execute it with the right people and have the timing line up right now it's uh it's very impressive right so that's why we stand up now how does it work there's three components you got the app the miners, the mining docs. The app currently looks like this. This is the Get Fit Mining app. It's available for download on Android and iOS devices. It syncs with Google Fit, Apple Health to track your user activities such as steps, distance, calories, workouts, and sleep. Users earn rewards based on their daily physical activity. Very simple. You move, you earn. The more you move, the more you earn, right? Now, this is where we're headed. Just told you we have the app in beta phase here coming up in a few days. And we're going to go from this to this. Trust me, the experience, <clears throat> totally different. <laughs> You're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. You're going to be so proud to be a part of this platform. You already are because of what it's doing. But to have the brand match what we actually have is going to be very important. Looking forward to that. So the app, we all have apps, right? This is nothing unfamiliar. Everyone's had apps. You're familiar with having an app and downloading an app. That's that's simple, right? Now, just to let you know, your privacy always matters. We're not going to, you know, uh, take your your data or anything. Your user privacy uh, prioritizes your user privacy by ensuring that personal information is not shared with third parties or stored on servers. All transactions occur directly on the blockchain, on-chain, folks. 
guaranteeing transparency and privacy protection. We just basically communicate with Apple, communicate with Google. We pull your data in because remember, they're already tracking it anyway. They know how you sleep. They know what you eat. They know what you say. <laughs> they probably they know your eye. Uh, your, they know how they scan your eyes. You know that these phones and this technology is is very invasive, right? So we don't have to be. We just say, hey, the data is actually valuable. So let's pull it in here into the blockchain and reward you for that data, right? I think that's pretty cool. That's a pretty novel idea, right? To pay people for what you're already doing and what you're already being ripped off for anyway. Why not? So your privacy matters here with uh, with MoveQuest. Now, the miners, the most important part of the whole deal. You ha got to have miners. You got to have something going to work for you. Earnings are based on daily activity. That's you moving, whatever you do during your daily routine, and the mining capacity, how much these miners hold, right? Those are the ones you want to obtain. You're going to gamify the experience to encourage the, act the activity by getting these miners. And gamification just means making it fun, right? You do some, you do something and you win something. You get a reward for it, right? Gamification. Users need at least one digital miner to start earning, which can be upgraded for increased capacity. Each account can maintain up to eight active miners. We just increased from seven to eight. That was really, really exciting. Um, people are getting that eight slot open and putting these miners in it. Lenny's, primaries, ultras, alphas, and omegas. They all have a different capacity level to earn, um, you know, every single day when you submit. And you can have a variety of these. You can have all of one. You can have all omegas, all primaries, et cetera. You can have a, a different variety of these, these set up in these docking slots that you have, right? Here are the docks. After acquiring the miners, depending upon which ones you get, right? The mining dock slots must be unlocked. You have to pay to unlock them to utilize their power. Each miner must be placed in one of the eight available docking slots to maximize mining power per account which is crucial for increasing daily shares and determining daily token rewards. Here are the NFTs. These are basically NFTs. Um, they're one of one. Not any two are alike in the whole entire ecosystem. They're all different. They all have their different IDs. They all have different attributes as well. It's pretty neat when you see it and you'll start to see in the new build out with the new app, a lot of this stuff will come to life, but you basically take the NFT and you dock them in the docking slots. Right, ten dollars, twenty dollars total. You know, little bit of little bit of funds here to get these docking slots, and definitely worth it. Right, I want you to see there's there's some fun, there's some money coming out here. We call like you know overhead, right, or barrier to entry. But trust me, you get these NFTs docked. I'm talking day one. I just gave you the numbers earlier. The average person here, out of about five to six thousand people in that range, is earning a eighty dollars a day just from moving. $80 a day. That's a full-time income from some people. And you're doing it in a decentralized space. And we'll talk about all that fun stuff later too. <laughs> but these, being in a de de decentralized situation is a huge advantage. And, it, and it's, it's going to be a thing in the near, near, near future. You're going to start learning about that anyway. Right? So those are the mining docks. You're going to evolve those miners for more power. You're going to upgrade them. You're going to place those NFTs in the evolution slot so to speak and you want to start with the lenny right you purchase the lenny for fifty dollars everyone starts here you have to get the lennies you're going to get 50 percent power remember they have a certain amount of capacity you can have seven lennies not bad but of course you want to upgrade you want to evolve so you take one lenny to a primary for fifty dollars now you have one primary for the same power that two lennies will give you get it one primary for ultra, 125. One, you're going to take an ultra to an alpha, that's 60 for 175. And you're going to take two alphas to get one omega, $200 for 300% power for a total of 2,100% power if you're getting seven omegas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's different. It's eight now, right? So that's a different number. That's what we're going to do, though. We're going to take those omegas. Uh, all eight omegas is what you're looking to get, right? That's what you want to get there. Powerful. Evolve for more power. Now, how to get started? Started. Setup is simple. Create a DAP. Uh oh, went too fast. You want to create a DAP wallet. Real simple. That's why does this thing keep jumping? I must have a timer on this. Got to keep my finger on the trigger. No problem. MetaMask. Let me pause it. There we go. MetaMask, or uh, or or uh, you know any DAP wallet. We have also a Trust Wallet. I think 
Herschel has a couple other ones that we can get into, but we have another one that's going to be releasing very soon as well. I'm really excited about Cryptic. Uh, that's a Web3 web uh, DApp wallet. It allows you to move transactions in, a, in, a, in the decentralized Web3 space, right? You're going to get Android. You're going to get Google Fit. You got Apple. You're going to get Apple Health. You're going to download these apps. Familiar with that. You're also going to download the Get Fit Mining app. And there's some process here. There's some steps to take. We have all that stuff on PDFs and videos. And we've got plenty of support, customer support, technical support. We handhold people through the process. That's even different kind of support. But we've got it all, right? We've got everything you need to make sure that you get started. And it's as simple as possible. It's really clicking some buttons and copying and pasting and making sure you're not moving too fast. You want to slow down or speed up. And we get that done. And once it's set up, you don't have to really do much other than just move some funds around. And that's where we come in as well and help you with that. Right. So you also want to fund your wallet with MQT, USDT and AVAX. Those are the three currencies or tokens uh, that we use in the platform to, uh, you know, make it work, make it make it move for you. MQT is the native token here. <clears throat> that's what you earn when you earn uh, every single day when you submit and you claim over a 10-day period, you earn MQT. Right now, valued at about 60 or so dollars per day, right? So think about how much MQT you can accumulate by moving. That's it. Very powerful. That's the setup. Plug into a system. Save yourself stress, time, energy, and money. That's something I learned a long, long time ago, and it's true. You know, as uh, you don't, you don't want to try to figure this out, you know, on your own. There's a system here to help you, right? And it's a community here. Like I said, there's plenty of chats. There's plenty of, uh, you know, uh, live webinars and trainings and support. You know, all that stuff is here, right? There's really no excuse not to be able to get in here and learn as you go and start to participate very, very quickly, right? Because we have all this stuff in place and it's just getting better and better. Educating yourself uh, is very, very important. You know, we've got... You know, some situations popped up over the last, you know, month or so that shouldn't have happened. But, you know, things happen. You know, people get taken advantage of because really they're not using common sense, to be honest with you. But sometimes they're just not educated on what to look for. You know, the space is very, very, very volatile. It's very uh, unpredictable. And there's a lot of fraud in the space as well. And you got to protect yourself. And how do you protect yourself? You educate yourself on some of the, you know, just some of the common sense things, you know. And we show you how to do that as well, right? Make an impact. Share this with somebody else, please. You know, the stories that we're hearing, <clears throat> I would have never imagined some of the stories that I've been hearing um, in this platform in the last 70 days, um, just life-changing stuff, you know? And that's because someone tapped someone else on the shoulder and said, hey, you need to hear this webinar. You need to hop on here. How many of you all invited someone tonight? Put a two in the chat if you invited a guest, please. And if you did, how hard are you working right now? <laughs> how hard are you working right now? If you invited a guest, how hard are you working right now? I hope I'm doing a great job. You know, my presentation, straight to the point, not a lot of detail, but we have those presentations too. If you like the details and you like all the technical stuff, we got all that and we can break it down for you, right? We can do it. Absolutely. So make an impact, share it with somebody else and uh, let them know that we're uh, really have our hands on something life changing here. And, um, we're just getting started. A lot of really, very, very, very exciting what we got our hands on here. All right. In a nutshell, move and get paid. MoveQuest leverages blockchain technology, smart contracts, and community involvement to create a sustainable economic environment. Users can earn daily rewards by providing their proof of physical activity, P-O-P-A, using devices they already own, like smartphones, smartwatches, and fitness bands. The more you move, the more you earn. Folks, anybody can do this. Kids have phones. They have watches. People work out already. People are moving all day long. I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom, a stay-at-home dad, if you're, you know, a little more seasoned and retired. <laughs> if you have a courier job, you do yoga. This, this platform is global, number one. You probably have half the people on here from New Zealand right now. <laughs> Right. We're touching all types of places in the world, all four corners. Uh, and it's amazing to see it this 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 quickly because of the value that we have. Uh, it touches everyone. It's very, very powerful. So move and get paid. The more you move, the more you earn. It's that simple. <clears throat> now, 
Let me see. I think I skipped one. No, I didn't. Chain expansion. This is exciting because we're not stopping here, right? And uh, of course, we just launched the Avalanche chain, you know, 70 days ago, having a lot of success. But we're proving that concept. We're proving that proof of work. We're proving what I like to call the proof of profitability, right? That people can get in here and set themselves up for success and profits, right? Very, very quickly, obviously. But we're just getting started. So what do you think is going to happen when the word gets out, which it already is? They're going to talk. The industry talks. It's all about attention. Other chains are already in the wings. And we just got to flip the switch. We're going to duplicate what we've done here on eight other chains over time, right? This is not a rush, but this is what, what's possible here. The opportunity I like to talk about, because this is how I saw it, <clears throat> getting involved. <clears throat> I saw the opportunity like this, the model Bitcoin doesn't get any bigger than that. When it comes to an investment, doesn't get any bigger. <clears throat> the brand Apple. Everybody knows the brand, right? Who doesn't know Apple? Number one and two every single year. Pokemon Go, the potential. If you remember that game, it was global. It was viral. People were running all over the place looking for these Pokemon, right? And I see the same thing happening here. People running all over different parts of the city. <clears throat> Excuse me. Been talking all day. Different parts of the city doing squats in random places, <laughs> doing challenges, you know, all that stuff is going to be happening here. The potential is huge. 260 million do downloads for Pokemon Go. We don't even need that many. We need about 2 million and things are really going to be different for us. Really. So get yourself positioned. Get back with the person that invited you. I got to get some water. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to get Lynette on here as well. I appreciate every one of you. Each and every one of you being here tonight, listening to this information. If you're number two, you're just saying, hey, I have some questions to get answered. Great. If you're number three, you're saying, hey, I want to sit back and watch a little while. You can do that, too. We need we need some people to watch. Right. And then get involved later on. Right. Uh, get your popcorn ready. It's going to be an amazing, amazing show. It already has been, but it's only going to get better. Right. So we've got Miss Lynette queued up here. Let's get her on here so she can share. Some of the numbers behind this project, they're absolutely mind blowing. You might have to check out a few times, just take a deep breath and, and know that it's just math. One plus one is two, right? And it's not out of the realm of possibility because of what we just proved. <clears throat> so do we have Lynette on Herschel, Mr. Ivy? So Lynette, is that you? Let's see. I'm losing my voice, so it better be. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and get you some water. Go ahead, and get you yeah, some go water ahead. And take it from oh, I see her. Yeah, I see Lynette there. I see her, co-host. Right, let's see. There we go. And just in case, let me. I I see her. It says co-host. I did. Hey, man, I clicked on. on mute. No, no, hold on. Is that is that the right Lynette? No, that's that's. Yeah, one. I know, right? Hold on, one step. <laughs> just oh, one. That's right. There you go. Yeah, that was a little, yeah, yeah, that was you. That was you. You're good. How you doing, Lynette? How you doing? Good, good. How's everybody tonight? Oh, uh, we're good. I'm losing my voice over here. I've been talking all day, <laughs> but I appreciate I it. Really, really that. good. Looking forward <laughs> to uh, seeing the numbers tonight. Take it away. Appreciate it. I'm going to have to break this down into two nights because today got crazy busy for me, too. So I wasn't able to break down uh, taking your Lenny's and how many, how long and at what price point, but I am going to show you the exciting stuff, which is where we can take the uh, token to based on numbers. So I'll share my screen here real quick. And then uh, tomorrow or Saturday, I don't know when the next zoom is uh, tomorrow probably won't be a good day, but Saturday afternoon at one o'clock or something like that, I could do that and go over what people can expect on the, I'm on the miners. You got to give me permission to share my screen there, Herschel. Uh, you, you should be a cook. There you go. Go right ahead. All right. I think the first thing I'm going to do before I get into the spreadsheet is I'm going to show you guys what happens with the evolution. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I love it when I see it. So I'll bring this up first. Everybody should be able to see my screen. So right here. 
Let me see where it was at. Mm, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's down here further. Sorry. It, it, there's a lot. It, transactions happen. So, oh, right here. So this is a big sell, really. You know what I mean? You look at 17000 It's a little bit much for the liquidity. It's kind of what I would call a greed sell, but, um, you know, it is what it is. It happens. But in another project, you would be sitting on a low token value. And unless people were coming in and buying quickly or whatever, it would probably just continue to drop. But because of our self-sustaining ecosystem, and because of the evolution contract, it'll trigger. It doesn't trigger it on all of them. It just depends on what the market value is and what has been trending. So here's what's important to look at. If you look here, you see how this is back where it should be. There's actually more buys than there are sells. So the evolution contract will actually trigger more corrections if there isn't overselling. If there's overselling by the community, the evolution contract doesn't come in and correct that because it lets the community determine what the price value should be of that token. So it's really important that people understand this. If the community is selling multiple cells, multiple cells, multiple cells, the evolution doesn't correct that. It just, it'll remove excess move quest. It will buy when the liquidity is there and it needs to buy the move quest just like normal. But if you see something crazy happen, like this, and the buying and the selling, the buying is higher than the selling, you're going to see the evolution kick in. And so what it does is it removes the excess amount of move quest that's been sold. It comes back in and you can see anything that ends in the C06, you can see here, nothing's ever sold. C0 sells 2.6 million in buys, but zero sells. So it'll come back in and it bought back the 17,000 that was sold. So it takes out excess move quest right there, the 742, plus it buys back what was sold. And then it will, it bought more. Let's see, where was it at? Right here. It come in and it bought more to drive it back up to the price it was. And then it added back 150,000 in liquidity. So if you come down here and you see where this extra sale took place or this higher sell right here, the contract only removed about 90,000, right? Because there's 46,000 in USDT, 46,000 worth of move quest. So it'd be about 90, 92, $93,000. It turned around, it bought $17,000 worth of that move quest. Um, where was that at? Right here. So it countered that that sell-off. Then it bought an extra five, which took it back up to the price it should be. And then it come in and added 150000 in liquidity. So it bought $20,000 $20, worth of move quest, added one hundred and fifty, which ended up equaling $170,000 adjustment on a $17,000 sale. So that's the power behind the evolution contract, just so everybody sees that. But one of the algorithms, one of the key factors is this right here, that buy volume and that sell volume. And when that sale happened, luckily the buy volume is higher than the sell volume because the evolution will correct it. But if it was upside down and the selling volume was high, the evolution is not going to come in and correct a downward uh, movement. It's only going to correct it when it was in an upward move it, movement, which it was. So hopefully you guys, you know, you see how that works and you can define it. It's not going to come in and always correct everything because there's so many factors that play into what that evolution does on a correction uh, level. So I wanted to show you guys that because it just happened like, I don't know, maybe 30, 30, 40 minutes ago, something like that. So it's important to pay attention uh, to what you're selling. And not only that, but if you're selling um, large amounts of move quest, you got to know it's going to be really difficult for you to get back in and buy it lower than what you sold it for. So I just got to remember, if you're going to sell, sell smaller amounts 
and do it over several days or a couple of weeks. Don't do it all in one lump sum because the evolution contract is going to boost it back up and it's going to lock you out. Like it literally has an anti-whale or an, or an oversell from one individual uh, to protect the community from that. So that's one of the features here. Now let's get into the spreadsheets. I don't want to keep you guys here all night. What I wanted to show you guys is how the market moves. If you are really being conscientious of, of how you're handling um, your tokens. And so what I had shown you was that with roughly just under 5,000 people. So this is 4,750 people. Okay. If we reach that mark in the, in the new people coming into the community are minting their 14 Lennies. Okay. And what this is, is it's giving you the price of what that would cost. So I do it in intervals of 25 to get that number. Um, just so it breaks down, you know, it would be like 25 people a day. It would take, I don't know, three months to get there if, if that's what our focus was on. Um, this is the amount of commission that would be paid that would be sold on the exchange. So it takes what's coming in, the other 40%. So if you see this here, there's 10,000. So every time 25 people come in and mint 14 miners, pays out 7,000 in commission, but it removes 10,000 from circulation and puts it back in the vault, $10,000 worth. So less can be sold than what was spent to mint because now the majority of it goes back into the vault from people who come in and mint those miners. So now you're looking at that supply and demand. It counters what's going out from that daily distribution. I'm not going to go over all of this. This is basically showing you what the pool is right now. Uh, the market value is at 64.52, uh, and that was based on what was in the liquidity. One 1.624936. It's a little bit different, but not much, so I don't have to adjust it. Nine, let's see, 24936, 24. So it's it's real close. Um, I, I'm not going to update it. We'll just keep going with that, what that figure is, which would be about $64.52. So what this is saying is that if you're selling all of your commission when you make it, this is what the market value of the token is going to be, okay? Because it's considering that you're selling your move quest. Oh, no, this is the buys right here. These are the buys. You're coming in, you're buying, you're minting. It's driving up the market value. So $64.58 with one uh, Lenny minted 25 people minting 14. It's going to drive the market up to 66. That means you're going, you're buying, uh, the $700 worth of move quest on the, on the exchange. This is when you sell it. This is the amount of move quest that you would be selling at this price point, which is going to drive the market down. So one person comes in and buys $700 on the exchange. It's going to drive the price up to $64. When that 40% commission is sold on the market, it's going to drive the price down to $61. Then here you see it goes up, 25 people do it, drives it up to 66, it drives it down to 62 when the commissions are sold. So you see it goes up when people are buying, it goes down when people are selling. And this is figuring that you're going to sell all of your commission and 50% of the daily distribution of your, from the proof of physical activity. So this right here, when you're driving the price down, it's including the amount of uh, move quests that's going out every day. And it's figuring that the community is gonna sell 50% of that every single day. This is what it would drive the market to. Now, if you're selling 100% of that, you can see how the price drops much more. See from the 64, down to the 58, because this is commission sold plus that daily proof of physical activity. If only 25% of those tokens were being sold a day, you can see how it doesn't drop quite as much. But we're going to leave it at the 50%, because that's kind of roughly what is taking place right now on the market. Now we're going to look over here at what the evolution does. So this would be if one person had minted the 14 Lennies and they're going to go just to seven omegas. I haven't, let's bump it up. I can do that. It would be 16 Lennies that you would need. So we'll take it 
we'll do it as is right now with those 16 Lennies to get the eight Omega minors. So you can see here, once the liquidity is going in, this is just on one person, the evolution plays a significant role in the liquidity. Okay, so here you can see with one person going up to eight Lennies, it's going to pull in the full amount. It's $4,000 because by the time it's uh, two, three, four thousand. It goes in, it buys move quest, and then it brings the move quest back, it pairs it to the remaining USDT, and it injects $2,800 into the liquidity pool. So now you've got the market where here you've got uh, the buys, here you've got the sells, and here you've got the injection from the liquidity stabilizing that market value. When you go down here, I'm going to take you all the way to the bottom so you guys can see what this does market market wise. This 4,750 people joining the community. If all of the commission was sold and only 50% of the daily distribution, it would drive the market to $738. And this would be taking us to that 10,000 person uh, size in our community, 10,000 people within our community. Now, when they sell it, it's going to drive it down to $629. The evolution contract, however, oh, hang on, I hid the wrong, I hid the wrong uh, column. Let me unhide this here. I've got so many columns in here, so let me unhide you. 61 dollars, 248. Let me put this back up to 100% because that's crazy. It would get really insanely crazy, okay, you guys, when we do this. Because now we're talking about a couple hundred thousand, probably about 150,000 miners in the mining dock, uh, 100,000 of them. Let's do 75% because I don't even want to show you guys those numbers. You won't even believe me. There we go. We'd be looking at a market value of about $6,500. I don't even want to show you what the last number is because it's insane. Um, we're not even going to go there. Nobody will believe me. Uh, when I told you guys it doesn't take long to get to Bitcoin prices, I wasn't even joking with you. Um, not even a little bit was I joking. <laughs> so that's where we could be sitting with uh, 10,000 um, users in our community. six thousand five hundred and fifty five dollars and that would be every single person evolving to those eight omega miners now let's just say that's not going to happen okay then i can bump it up to the 50 percent because that would be more let's just say only eight omegas or i mean only we'll, we'll just say only eight lennies okay let's just do eight lennies if you're mining with the eight Lennies and let's see, do we want to do eight Lennies? Okay, if we do eight Lennies, that would be four Omegas. Okay, let's do that. Let's do four Omegas and look at where that price is at. The community would still be driving the market pretty high. It would be at $308. So this is considering that they're only going to do half. Okay, 4,750 people are coming in and only going to mine with four omegas. That's a good reference there, I think, because some people will mine with eight Lennies, some people will mine with eight primaries, some will mine with eight alphas, and some will mine with eight omegas. So this is a pretty good middle ground. And even at that, everybody's selling. It still would drive it down to the 264. And then over here with your evolution, we're still looking at a market value of $532. Now, if we bump this up and we say 100% of the daily move quest is going to be sold instead of the 75%, you would still be looking at, sorry, you got to watch my screen flop all over like this, a market value of $487 with move quest. So the evolution is very important to the liquidity. It's very important to the stability. Now, with this scenario, 
we're looking at a pool value of about $37 million. Okay. And this is why I was telling you guys, when you start looking at those numbers, you will start seeing people who are making, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars that they've cashed out. And I'm sure there's going to be people that'll cash out a million at that point. You've got $37 million sitting in that pool. Now, if we go back to my perfect scenario and we focus on, you know, people evolving up to those omegas, now you're looking at a pool size of about $70 million. So we're getting closer to that 75 million to 100 million in the liquidity pool. And I'm telling you right now, that's when you're going to have people that are making life-changing money because they're able to really, I mean, we're talking major money. Add up what you're making right now and move quest and times it by these market values right here. Now, if people get really good with managing their tokens and hodling like you're supposed to until the price goes up, and let's say that people are only selling 25% of that move quest, I'm going to show you the insane prices that you'll see on MoveQuest. There's not even enough MoveQuest in there for that. You'd have to sell. Okay, that's demand. Do you see that right there when it goes into the negative values? And do you know what that means? The increase has to happen. The increase in that daily distribution. Do you guys see how that put us in negative mode? There's not enough MoveQuest to even handle that. That's massive supply and demand right there. So let's change this and say that now we are mining and the distribution is up at the full um, 5,008, 25%. Now you've got enough move quest in circulation. You can be selling it and your move quest market value is almost at $25,000. And I know you guys don't believe me, but it's math. Every dollar that you spend in this project, minus 10%. 90% of it stays here with you. Seriously, that's where you get these values. It's it's insane, but it's it's math and it's liquidity. And it's, you don't see this anywhere else. You do not see projects that leave 90% of the ecosystem's revenue inside the project. And at this point, okay, people are getting those 5,000 tokens that's being distributed every day. Let's just bump it down and say, so. I like to I like to stay high. 75% are going to be selling them. We're going to get back over here. You're still looking at a market value of $2,000 a token. That's more like what's going to happen, okay? It could do the 25,000, okay? If people were holding, holding, holding. They're not going to. Not a not not when you're getting up to those prices, but they don't have to either. You know what I mean? Because it's sustaining itself. And this doesn't include your submissions. It doesn't include claims. It doesn't include challenges. It doesn't include leasing. It doesn't include the uh, the mining booths. It doesn't include the mystery boxes. It doesn't include any of the gamification features. This is simply, it doesn't even include the mining dock. All this is, is the daily distribution and the evolution. It doesn't even include anything else. This is it. That's all I'm showing. It's just that one piece, the evolution. Doesn't include the mining deck, submission, claims, challenges, leasing, anything else. So these numbers are low. And then tomorrow, or let's, let's do Saturday. Saturday at one o'clock, I'll show you guys what it takes, especially the people with Lenny's, how long it would take for you to make um, a really good amount of money um, by holding your tokens. So does anybody have any questions on that, on the sheet that I'm sharing with you right here? Uh, I think, okay, that was only with 10,000 people, right? That you just broke down those numbers? Yeah. That's all I need to eat. <laughs> Well, you see what it's doing with less than 4,500. 4, Chats back. And not back. everybody has I not everybody has um gone has evolved. You know, this is of course figuring that we're gonna have everybody evolve up to you know the omegas, those prices, but that's what it takes because you're the community is providing that liquidity. Let me see something here. Uh, so all, all you really changed in that process, Lynette, was the amount of people that were evolving from 
a few lennies to up to Omega and, and all in between. That was just kind of a like you were giving an average yep. of the yeah, that's what I thought. The number never changed. Mm. And here's where we're at right now. We have uh let me I have to have my reading glasses on for this because the screen's too dark for me, but uh twenty six thousand four hundred and ninety miners are now plugged into the mining docks. And currently we are at 4,542 wallets that are submitting. And the global mining shares are at 16 billion. And this was our last round that ended on September 23rd. So we that's only 4,500 people. So if you go back to the spreadsheet, it was, I think, 4,750. So we would just be under 10,000 people. And I, you know, I don't think anybody's going to complain when you're hitting a market value of $738. No. But you got to understand, it's also about the responsible trading, too. You know, you can't come in and sell everything you have. You got to let that, uh, you need that pool to really beef up. When you start seeing a pool that's got $70 million, $75 million in there, it doesn't matter. At that point, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it really doesn't. Because it's just going to keep feeding that liquidity pool. You got 10,000 people. Um, you take, here's something you've got to look at too. And I'm going to try to get these stats available to everybody. But if you take that 26,490, okay, miners that are mining, and you take 26,490 and you times that by uh, the 62 cents, okay, that's just a submission fee. Okay, that right there in and of itself is $16,423 a day. Now you got to remember 8,000 of that is going to buy the move quest. And then it's going to come back and pair it. So it's 16,000 plus 8,000, okay, in liquidity. So it's 24,000 right there. Now times that by 30 days, that's 732,000 a month just from submissions, just where we're at right now times that by three or 12 months, and that's $8,792,568 just from submissions. Just from submissions, not claims, nothing else, not the mining dock, not the evolution, just the claims. Now, when the market value goes up, and we're talking about all of these miners, we're looking at 4,750 times eight omegas, okay, because that's what I base those figures on. That's an additional 38,000 miners that are mining. Now add that to the 26,490. You're looking at 64,490. Now at this point, you're talking about a token that's, we'll say between five and $700. So you're not going to be paying 62 cents per miner. Let's just say at this point, I'm just going to say it's 10 bucks per miner. Okay, so we're going to take those miners. We're going to times that by $10. Okay, that's 644900 every day. I mean, you're making profit, huge profit. So it's not going to, you're not going to be crying because you had to go sell, you know, $10 a day of your move quest to, to submit when you're making hundreds of dollars a day, some of you thousands of dollars a day. So you take this, now you've got to add 322000 to that because it's got to go buy the move quest. Now you got 322450 Yeah. Okay, that's $967,359 per day, per day. That's added to liquidity. Now times that by 30 days, that's $29 million. That's added per month. Now times this times 12 months. It's $348,249,240 a year that's going into liquidity just from submissions. Do you see how this just feeds the liquidity pool? Constantly feeds it, feeds it, feeds it, feeds it. When you're using the application and you're spending money inside the ecosystem, it stays with the community and it provides the liquidity. Plain and simple. And so it doesn't require new people coming in. It doesn't require new money coming in. That's why we don't even use it. That's why we just put it back in the vault because it doesn't even use it. It's not, 
what's important is that we are just coming out of building this project for the last three and a half years. We're just introducing it onto the avalanche chain and we're in the process of building the community. So is building the community important? Absolutely. That's why we're sharing it with everybody, how amazing this project is. But once we reach a threshold, it stabilizes itself. So even if not one person ever came in from you know, the outside, you still have a community of people who are still submitting and claiming and doing challenges and events. It's a thriving ecosystem. So hopefully that makes it a little more clear. Like, I hope you guys are just completely wowed by this whole project because it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, I run out of, I run out of stuff to say, man. I just do. Cause you know, the, the one thing that's just super impressive, Q, we're coming to you right now, bro. Um, it's just the number of people. I just, Doesn't it's just take funny. That. It's, when you said it, we just need two million people, I'm just like, oh my god! Like, I know like, that was way. This that's, would that's, be almost, the token would be at over two hundred and eighty thousand dollars in market value. And you know that's possible, right? With what you're building, what we're building, Lynette, two million is not. That's not even a big number with how this thing is set up. But it's just not. It's right. it's we're in for something. I, I, Step and put two million people in their project in 90 what, days yeah, and they what's can't budge past 15 cents. Now, I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah. people can't right, figure Brian. out that something's really wrong here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just said how much sweat coin. Sweat coin has millions of people. I've been on that for yeah. years. Yeah. After years, I only made $20 after three years. $20. Right. What do you think we oh. can? All that money stays with them. So. My gosh. Yeah, the 90% the 90 Lynette we're putting back in usually goes out their investors and that's where that goes and they they give the two or three percent to the people it's totally opposite here right so what, so what when people say oh it's never gonna make it or oh yeah. okay first of all let me tell you it's absolutely gonna make it secondly i'm not like your other project creators i did this intentionally on purpose i don't need 90 percent and then give 10 percent to the community 10 percent mm. is a lot but it doesn't just go to me either. We're going to do a lot of charity stuff. I mean, that 10% is insane money too. But that 90% that stays with the community. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that 10%, it's going to do a lot of good. But still, that's a lot. You take greed out, you build it right, and the community wins, period. Wow. Oh, it should be done. Talk about some armor right there, folks. Take greed out. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mr. Bradford, go ahead. Well, well, well. <laughs> I think everybody's going to be up tonight. No one is going to sleep. <laughs> um, you know, Miss Lynette, we just thank you. Um, you shared this with us, you know, already. You know, we we knew when we talk about running past the price of Bitcoin, we know that this is going to happen for us because we can see the numbers. You've showed us these numbers before. And um you know, I just say this to everyone. We're in the right place at the right time. You really are in the right place at the right time. You know, um, I always tell people, I said, you can't distract me right now. If, if whatever you want to show me can't make me seven to eight figures in the next three to six months, I can't afford to take my attention away from MoveQuest and look at what you're doing. And this is why, because there's no opportunity out there that has this potential for us to be able to create this massive transfer of wealth for people. So I'm just excited about it. You know, we thank you. We appreciate you. Um, I, I couldn't be in a better project. It's the best thing I've ever seen. And I've seen every single thing that's out there. Um, my one question uh, was just simply the 50% of the distribution that we are not receiving currently does that figure into those numbers that you are showing us tonight? That's my only question. Thank you. Oh, well, they don't. It's just figuring the 2,500. So once, and we'll start, you know, we once we get that, get reach that threshold where it stabilizes that liquidity, it's got to get beyond that three, $3 million in liquidity. They'll, they'll go out right away. It's just got to be stable. So it's not including that. So at one point, I showed you the 5,000 in distribution because there wouldn't be enough 
when it was like way crazy prices. So, I mean, I can show you that again if you want to see what that is. But it actually, it doesn't really change the value too much um, in the market because we give it, you get it when it stabilizes. So once it stabilizes, it shows that the demand is there. So it doesn't hurt anything. So it still stabilizes. But one thing I just want to make people think about, it's always nice to be able to cash out and have that extra money. But if you've been struggling for a couple of months, what's two or three more to hold your tokens and let it stabilize so that you actually would have more value two to three months down the road? Or just do a percentage and let this stabilize and this thing is going to shoot off like a rocket. I'm not even kidding you. No. Yeah. You built it that way. I absolutely did. Yeah. I mean, where else are you going to go when somebody sells seventeen thousand dollars and the contract corrects it and throws in one hundred and fifty thousand in liquidity? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> yeah, we we're still we're still amazed. Um, yeah, uh, Mansoor, what you got for us? I don't know if we're taking questions tonight or what. What are we doing, <laughs> Ursula? No, it's not a it's not a question, Ken. What's Thank on, you brother? for taking my call. How's hey, it? good, bro. Listen, I humbly, very carefully, respectfully wanted to request Lynette, hold those tokens until we get this token to $30,000. Please. It, it's not, I mean, this, this, you know, here's the this, thing. People get excited. There's no point. They see a market moving up and you'll start to see the community grow like crazy. And it will just organically get to those numbers. We've got to, right. you know, you got to keep, it's got to move up and the liquidity has got to stabilize. And you know, it's, it's that proof of concept, but I'll tell you right now, there's not a project on the market that's doing still what this is doing. Where have you seen a project Correct. where you sell, 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 and it still stabilizes in the sixties. If this was another project, that's why I'm saying be a couple bucks. Right. Yeah. right. Right. That's why I'm saying there's no point for me just holding those tokens while I'm not going to sell them. Yeah. I want to see if, that. If you need to point. sell them, sell them. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not telling anybody what to do. All I'm telling you guys, if you can no, see I know. I know. the dynamics of this. Yeah. That right. all, here's what I'm saying, Mansoor. Like, I get what you're saying. I'm holding two. Mm. I haven't sold one single <laughs> move quest. I buy them. But, um, you know, it's, if it's something that somebody needs to do, absolutely. It's what it's here for. It's supposed to change your life. But if you really right. want it to change your life, try to hold on to at least, you know, 50 to 75% of what you're mining. It's it's just, you know, use that 80-20 rule, if nothing else. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Lynette. You're welcome. Well, oh, more. Pin drop. <laughs> Go ahead, Herschel. I see somebody. Oh, no, Go I'm ahead, just saying pin drop. Yeah. I mean, we're just like, I mean, you you can't hear it enough. You're just kind of getting like this numb feeling like we're really doing this. You know, we're really collectively going to execute this plan because it's it's already happened, right? The last 70 or so days, we've seen things happen that we're just, just like, wait a minute. We, yeah, and if you let the really token go up, you're allowing people yeah. to be able to also sell an upgrade because a lot of people have to right. use their move quest. You know what I mean? Right. They have to upgrade as they are making um, money. So if you allow this to move up in market value, it just loops back around again. So, yeah. you know, if somebody has some move quest to upgrade, it's going to go back into the liquidity within, you know, 24 hours. Generally, it's all back in there again, because the evolution just at different intervals of the day adds it back in. So you're allowing the community to be able to upgrade, which is giving you more value if you're holding, if you don't need to sell them. We can't give financial advice. It's completely illegal. I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> I'm just mm -hmm. saying, if you, if the community as a whole was more careful with how they were um, selling their move quests and letting it get some traction. But you can see over the last three weeks, the selling pressure was crazy high and it's still stabilizing. So that right there shows you that the selling isn't hurting it. It's just stabilizing it. And if that's, you know, sufficient, then that's sufficient. But I'm telling you, you can do so much more. Hmm. Now, Lynette, you did a great job today on the other verse uh, uh, YouTube you. 
But you are also going to be speaking tomorrow, uh, correct? Or doing ladies in crypto? Do you want to you want to talk about that, and then also let us know what exactly it is that you're going to share with us on Saturday at at one p.m. Eastern? So I'm really not sure what to expect tomorrow. I just know that I'm on a panel. I think it's for Q and A. Um, and then on Saturday, what I'm going to go over is because I've had people ask me, well, what would it take for me to get to a hundred thousand? with with eight lennies or what would it get for me you know how long what would it take for me to get to a million so i'm going to go over that with everybody on saturday and i'll go over this again too um because it doesn't take me long to do this but um people kind of want to get an idea like how many do i need what does the price point need to be at you know what does it take to get to that price point so that people can kind of see you know what to plan for to be able to reach some goals Short term and long term. Wonderful. Doesn't it feel like we're just sitting in the next living room right now? We're just having a conversation. And she's mm -hmm. just 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 feeling all this. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I see mama raised her hand. And when mama raised her hand, I had to see what she wants to say. Yeah. Okay, mama. Hey, Kyora. Um uh, this is Baby Boomer from Down Under, down New Zealand. I just thought I wanted to share. Um, this morning, I thought, mm, I think I'm going to put a challenge out. So I looked at my community, 1,198, and I thought, mm, I want to get that up to 2,000 by Christmas. I thought, that's a good challenge to put out there. So not only, not only myself, but I had 1,198 people under me, Lynette, and that is so grateful to you. They're all, I tell you, there's so many people dreaming up big dreams. And and you know what you just done to my heart, the 72-year-old heart, when you showed that spreadsheet, because I love numbers. And, man, did I get some money orgasms watching those. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Not very good for the health, though, Lynette, but um, gratitude, funny. I tell you, just takes <laughs> over that. Day. So, yeah, really awesome. I really... I just wanted to say thank you, Lynette, now that oh, I had this opportunity. 1,198 people just want to give you big hugs, sending you all the best. Um, we just love you. And, of course, sexy Kenneth Francis with his sexy voice. And Herschel, of course, your personality just rocks me. And we were lucky to have Brian in our Zoom the other night. And thank you, Brandon Ivy. We watch your video. We love them all. And Mr. Crypto, oh, yeah, we're, we're big fans. We're big fans. But we are all big fans of Lynette's. So I just wanted to drop that in. If anyone hops on a challenge um, to bring your team to the next level, PM me. Let's go. Let's do this. That's awesome. Baby Boomer from New Zealand on the way out. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Yeah, I love it that everybody loves it. It makes me feel good that people are making money and it's they're awesome, getting man. healthy. People yeah, are having wonderful, you know, everything's changing, right? People are losing weight. They're feeling better, mm -hmm. more energetic. I mean, the more you move, the more energized you are. I mean, I'm doing things I've never done. I've been out cutting trees and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Uh, Viola, let's see if you can uh, come behind that testimonial. That was awesome. Hey, Lynette. Hi. I have a question for Lynette. Uh, I was just, I know like the project is like community built. And uh, I was just wondering like, uh, do you have any plan for those people who come like with million dollar buy like million token and just trying to drop the market or crash the market like do you have any solution for those type of people uh, that you won't find those kinds of people here because it's not beneficial to them so for an example and i can let me bring up let me share my screen again just give you an idea let's say that Somebody had a million dollars to spend, right? I got six zeros there. Yeah. Okay. That's only gonna that's only gonna buy them nine thousand six hundred and fifty-five move quest. Okay. That's that's not 
a whale. Um, they're going to drive it up to $103. But if they sell it, they're going to drive it back down to the current market value of $63. So you're not going to see people come in and spend a million dollars and then dump it right away because there's no profit for them there. They would have to wait for that to go back up. And if they did, so they get their million dollars back plus a few thousand, it's to a point where it's not going to, that's not going to happen. If somebody comes in and they want to spend a million dollars for 9,600 tokens, that's great. But if they do that, they're doing that because they plan to hold those for a long time because they get the vision. Okay. So you're not, you're not going to see that happen uh, at that level. Um, there's just not enough tokens in supply. There's not an overage amount where they can buy up the market. Um, if somebody wanted to buy all of these tokens that are in the in the pool right now, for example, 24,000 move quest tokens, it would cost somebody $37 million right now to buy those. It doesn't exist here. And if they did do that, as an example, $37,755,000 worth of move quest, and they might turn right around and sell it. It's only going to drop it back down to where it was already at anyway. So there's no advantage here for them to do it. And they would need to sell it faster than I did. And the evolution could kick in. <laughs> wow. Incredible safeguards and protection and yeah, very healthy. Yeah, this is not a whale's ocean. Yeah, for sure. All right. Too um, shallow. <laughs> there you go. Shallow water. Not good for him. Uh, Judy, take it away. Hey, everyone. Uh, thanks for, for taking my question. Uh, while I was waiting, it turns out my question had been asked. So at this point, um, between this morning's uh, interview with Lynette and this afternoon, all I have to say is thank you. This is awesome. I'm absolutely loving it. And uh, I discovered a new trick for how to make sure I get my steps in is I set my bedtime now for 2 a.m. So come midnight, while I still have the energy and the clock ticks over, I get my steps in first thing after midnight, and then I sleep like a baby. So this is a good this, idea. Yeah, no, I mean, what you've created here, Lynette, is just so awesome. I mean, I cannot tell you how different my body feels. Mm, it's awesome. it's just, it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. You've been here a long time. Wow. Yeah. And I've been fiddling and figuring out, you know, the different ways how to maximize things. And uh, I am absolutely loving this program. Loving it. Yep, awesome. Yep. Not surprised. Everyone has great things to say about this project. Incredible. Uh, who we have that limb? Is that Limo? Limo. Limo. That's limo right, live. buddy. Limo That's live. right. You got I it. Got you it. got hey, it. Hey, I got you, man. Take it away. <laughs> I did, I just want to say, um, this is this is amazing. Um, I'm new to to the project, but I'm not new to blockchain as at all. I came in in 2010, and I bought my first two bitcoins back then course i didn't hold it but you know that's a whole other story like all of us right <laughs> but uh but yeah this project is cool um you know, the thing is a lot of our communities have been hurt you know so it's so nice that if this does what lynette you say it does then everything will be gravy <laughs> everything will be just cool you know what i mean so that's the most important thing you know and i feel i feel good about it in the sense that you, you model it to Bitcoin. I'm still a Bitcoin maximus. I'm still, I believe in Bitcoin. And mm -hmm. um, and I think anything coming close to Bitcoin, it's a big win. You know what I mean, guys? Oh, I, I should have put my camera on. But yeah, anything coming close to Bitcoin is a big win. So so let's just rock on and see what we can do to make it go to the moon. And 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 the thing is, I heard somebody saying, it doesn't have to get as high as Bitcoin. Is as long as people stay um how to put it, stay bullish on the project. You know what I mean? You gotta stay stay with it. And yes, 
and 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 I think the eighty twenty rule is I do that with some of my my projects right now. Eighty twenty rule. I I live on twenty, and I I I hold and huddle like unless if you're dying yourself. You know what I mean? That's the yeah. attitude here we should all take. But again, you can't tell people what to do, right? Because everybody's situations are different across right. the exactly. across the board. You know what I mean? But I just want to say I'm in. And let's see if you can bring the people in together, you know, and have fun. Awesome. All right. And just Much to love, add, guys. one of the key differences of the Bitcoin that we have here is we have that liquidity provision. So there's, you know, that 90% of yeah, what people yeah. are spending here going into the liquidity. It makes it even stronger than Bitcoin yeah, it's, as it's far true. as the, you know, liquidity goes. Yep. Yeah, no, I respect that too. That That's actually good. Community-based, community-driven, keep the greed out. It's a it's a wrap, you know. Yeah. What I mean, everybody it's can thrive on this community. Of course, yeah. I see. I like it. That. I see it. I like. I that appreciate you. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's a... <laughs> right. I like that. Right. I know. I we we be we be talking. Cool. Absolutely. Much love, guys. From the Thank you. From Thank you. Awesome. Glad to have you here. Awesome, Pleasure. Man. Pleasure is mine. Awesome testimony. Awesome insight, Kevin. Your turn, brother. Go ahead. Take it away. Mrs. Rouser. Yeah, I got um, 5,000 uh, of the uh, MQT. It's on the other system because I can't get it changed over. Uh, I'm excited about this. I love the system. Um, Mike's brought me into it. Of course, he's passed away. Rest in peace. Um, love the guy. And uh, Brandon was the next one to him and then Herschel. So I'm excited about this. Um, but my... Uh, thing with this is uh as it grows what do i do because i'm still stuck in the other system is that system still active as far as uh, profits or do i because i'm not i'm not seeing my growth in there because i'm seeing everybody making all this money in the other system which i'm trying to get into which i will get with brandon and get that taken care of uh because yeah. i so want that, to you're be talking there. about the binance smart chain right 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 yeah. So like what we've, what we've explained is that because when we did the three years of development, we had everybody mining tokens for those three years. Then we had, uh, you know, without the ecosystem, you know, because we had to test and add these different features. And it was just so difficult to do a proof of concept to show people that the system actually works the way it was created to work. But you'd always get this and, you know, you got to mm -hmm. I guess I understand it, too. It's like, well, we don't really want to share it till the market value goes up. We want to wait until we say, well, it's like it's not going to go up if there's not the community using that ecosystem. So talk to people like Brandon and Ken and, you know, Brian and Mike Beal. And we're like, let's go up on the Avalanche chain and we'll do a proof of concept. And this way we can show everybody exactly how it works, which you got to look at it two ways, too. So, you know how I say if you don't have a use for the token, if you don't have an ecosystem, if you don't have that liquidity provision, the project isn't going to thrive. The Binance Smart Chain is actually a pretty good example of that because we had to use that chain, obviously, to build on and to get everything developed. And everybody knew, you know, we were in that beta testing mode, um, but we just couldn't get that traction because of the over. It's really got a lot of that token in the market from that two and a half years of mining so we knew that if we kicked off the avalanche chain we could show exactly how this ecosystem works so we kind of proved without an ecosystem it doesn't thrive but with an ecosystem it thrives and so with binance smart chain not having that ecosystem in place because we were still in development stages we kind of proved the good side and the bad side so what we are doing though is we are uh, working on correcting that, the move quest is going to be listed on the Binance Smart Chain. And the Binance Smart Chain is going to duplicate exactly what the Avalanche Chain is doing. It's just going to take us a few weeks to get back over there and to be able to do that. And so absolutely, you know, you're not missing out on anything. It's just that three and a half years of mining on that chain before an ecosystem and the full project was developed. And because of the complexity of this project, I mean, you guys have no idea how many contracts are operating this puppy. It's a lot. I mean, we're when I talk to the developers, they're like, 
the the lines of code in this thing is insane the contracts that communicate to each other i mean we did this top notch we own all of this you know it's all us it's all ours there's no third party systems uh in this project at all and so we needed that development time to make sure we did it right so it's not lost it's not gone it's just we had to do the proof of concept on the on the avalanche chain so people could see the power behind this then we'll we'll list over on the smart chain the move quest token and that one's going to do just like the avalanche chain is doing as well okay i love it and my question with this is that since i have like 5000 uh move quest uh or mqt uh in the first situation i moved a thousand now they're kind of lost i'm not sure where they're at but i still have four thousand left um when we make the change uh is that going to move over to the new system and i'm still trying to get into that which i'm going to get with uh, brandon tomorrow and try to get myself taken care of because i want to be in the system i'm okay. seeing them making money and it's making me mad because i'm not making money kevin, and i should be making money kevin let's do right. this i understand because i know we will get you squared away you know who to talk to we will get you squared away where you understand know everything about where we are and what what steps to take moving forward you you're good you got your cup yeah and that thousand move quest you can't locate Either send me your wallet address or Herschel or whoever is going to meet Brandon tomorrow with him. You can take that wallet address and go to the Binance Smart Chain. If you send it to me, I can track it. I can tell you exactly where it's at. Yeah. Okay, great. I Thank you so much. Anyway. I love going backwards through these wallets. I've, <laughs> I love it. It's fun for me, especially if I'm looking for somebody or something that went wrong. Shouldn't they have to love, something like that? Love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome, Kevin. All right, uh, Joseph uh, Whitner, uh, you're up. Thanks, Ken. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm blown away uh, again, Lynette, on uh, everything you shared again tonight. And uh, down here in uh, in wet Miami. But what I'll say is that. Um, between getting myself, um, my wife going, and now uh, my wife's family from Venezuela, we're, uh, we're working on a Spanish contingency of, of folks um, <laughs> down here that are, are starting to move. And I, I, have, I haven't had my father-in-law and uh, mother-in-law come over to our house so much uh, <laughs> in the last uh, <laughs> six weeks since, since everything's begun. So uh, thank you for that as well. Um, you know, my, my question, um, really around what you presented was, um, you were showing some of the scenarios. So what, what, what would you say is like the, the average percentage that the market is selling, you know, currently, um, cause you, you were showing like, you know, what you think is going to happen is, you know, 75%, but I, I, I think sure. one thing that would really, really helpful too is, is, is also continuing to show people if they held, you know, and they were reducing, you know, from selling 75% to say 50%, how that would accelerate and, you know, support the ecosystem. Yep. Roughly right now, I would say we're at between 60 to 75% is what's being sold. But luckily the evolution contract consumes most of it. I mean, absorbs most of it. So it, it is leveling itself out. Um, at a pretty, we're staying roughly at about 260 to 262,000 move quests in circulation, even with the 2,500 a day going out. So the evolution contract is doing its job. It is, you know, absorbing those extras. So it's keeping the market stable. But if less were being sold, the evolution contract could do more than what it's actually doing. So if the evolution contract, it's, I mean, it's got over two, now it's at like 220 some thousand that the evolution contract has where just less than a week ago, it was at 204,000. So it's, you know, that's 16,000 tokens. So that's that's quite a bit of move quest, you know, that's hitting the market um, that that evolution contract is picking up. But if people were holding that, the evolution contract would not have to absorb that. It would be able to inject more liquidity and help drive that market value up. So there's so many dynamics to this 
that that is one of them you know and this, you guys gotta understand this is young like baby baby it's only been on the market not even two, not even eight weeks and the market value of this token is insane it's done what it's supposed to do and can you guys imagine right now if all of the selling hadn't been going on move quest would be at almost three hundred dollars All of you that have sold would have had triple or more of that in your pocket. If you'd have just waited. <laughs> Jack said, why are people selling in the chat? <laughs> yeah. You know, one, one, one thing that comes to mind too, is what you're saying is, and you've probably thought about it <laughs> already, but it, as part of the new, the, the new app launch, you know, you, you, you mentioned there oh, yeah. notifications about, you know, get your steps in or this or that. But I think if there was also, Hey, you know, sell what you need to sell, don't sell it, you don't need to sell, you know, that would also encourage. We probably won't ever put those kinds of messages out because really, I mean, that's not. Yeah, it's kind of like financial advice a little bit. You know, that's we great. could say, you know, we can drop little hints about different things, you know. Um, but I mean, honestly, I have to be, here's what I think is happening too. You've got people that, I mean, we have an economy where people are struggling terribly. And, you know, they've, people have been in so many projects trying to make that extra money and have just, just keep losing. And so now you're finally in something where you are making money and people are kind of being able to breathe right now. You know what I mean? That little bit of extra money is helping them. Kids just went back to school. We're talking school clothes, school lunches, lunch boxes, backpacks, school supplies. You know, I know that some of these cells are, are stupid cells, okay, greedy cells, if you ask me, on a new uh, listing. that To me, there's just no excuse for that. And I'm somebody who's been in the space for a long time, so when I see something like that, it does kind of irritate me. It does more irritate me, but that's a nice word for it. But when you see, you know, people that are selling $500 or $750, you can look at that and you know, if they're not evolving, they needed that for something. It's covering a bill or it's doing something that they needed it to do because they're not doing the overselling. They're they're selling what they need to sell. To me, that's awesome. That means that people are are making some money and it's helping them, you know, progress a little bit to where it's a little more comfort in their life. And I think that if, you know, when people see the gravity of this and how incredible it actually is, how powerful it is, you'll start to see the demand a lot higher. And you won't notice those sells so much. And I think when the move quest, when the rebrand comes out, it's going to make it so much easier for people. You don't have to go from, you know, Lenny to primary to ultra to alpha to omega. You can go right from Lenny to omega. Or you can go right from Lenny to primary. You right from Lenny to alpha. You know, you'd be able to stay where you, and it walks you right through the system. Not only that, it's amazing. It looks awesome. Um, so I think we're going to really start to see the community really start to grow at that point. But, you know, I don't, what I want people to understand is that if you're in a position where you don't have to sell your tokens, you're doing the community as a whole a favor by holding. If you need to sell, you know, then the community is going to be happy for you because it's, it's helping you, you know, with your life. But it's, you know, this is a community driven project. So you've got to think about your community because it's, the community as a whole that's going to take it to the next level. If you're only thinking about yourself, it's really not the project for you. I mean, I kind of feel that way because, you know, as the creator of this, I took the greed out. And so I really want the community to do the same thing um, and just, you know, allow everybody to get ahead and win with this project. I mean, you can't have the creator of a project take the greed out, but the community still stays greedy. I mean, really, there's no room for those kind of people here. Go play the the crypto scammy games, you know, to jump in as fast as you can, buy as many as you can and get out. But the community here as a whole, this project was designed to change people's lives. And it was designed to change people's lives in a powerful, positive way. And if we have a community of people who are here that can't do that, I mean, we really don't need you here. And you could do the same thing somewhere else and not hurt this community. And maybe that's wrong for me to say, but that's just how I feel. And I'm kind of one of these people who just kind of say what I think. Nothing yeah. wrong with that.
Appreciate that. Uh, the only other question I had actually was um, I was talking to a few people about the the utility of the token. So I I have my own answers with when when they ask me about the utility of the token, but I'm I'm curious to just get your response to uh, you know a short and sweet um, immediate response to to that. Um, well, the you utility know, token and not a coin. It's the token that's used within its own ecosystem. You need the token to mint the miner. You need the token to unlock the mining dock slot. You need the token to create challenges. You need the token to join challenges. You need the token to lease out your miners. You're going to need the token to buy boosts. You're going to need the token to buy any of our swag, merchandise. Um, here in the future, we will have a marketplace. Okay, it's not an Amazon, but when we get a community of several hundred thousand people, million people, People will be able to sell their products and take move quests um, for those products, for that merchandise that they want to sell, just like you would on any other store. So we'll have its own ecosystem that thrives using that token. So there's a lot of use case for that token, which is what the utility is. Even your miner is a utility backed token. This entire project is backed with utility. Oh, a lot of utility. <laughs> I think you just say that it's a lot of utility here. Yeah, the token is everywhere. Yeah. Uh, thanks again, Lynette. You're welcome. Awesome. All right, we've got a couple. Lynette, how much? Uh, where, what are we looking like on time? We want to get you out of here. You got a few minutes. How you feeling? I'm just gonna watch Hannity when this is over and then go to bed. <laughs> All right, so we got three more. I've got a bad pause right now. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, Hersh, we got come come Batman. Is that the last one? I think, yeah. We have an iPhone, Eva, and yeah, then, yep. Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, iPhone. Go ahead. What's your name? Good evening. My name is Benjamin Brown. Benjamin Brown. Welcome. Yes, friend. sir. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, I've been mining uh, for about a month and a half. My brother and my mom brought me in. I think it's an awesome project. Uh, I'm doing good with all my submissions and everything. I just had one question. Because I know the challenge is coming out, and yep. I think maybe a week or so ago, I was trying to fund my my mining wallet, and I made a mistake and sent four MQT over there. And I went to customer service. I, I believe your sister was just telling me uh, she was going to look at it and see if they can probably go back and see what they can do about it. But my brother had mentioned that it, the tokens was going to be used for the challenges. I just wanted to confirm them. Yep, you'll use the tokens to create your challenges and to join challenges. But when you say you sent four move quests, where did you send them to? So it's like I literally can go to my mining, my Giffy mining app, and then where I go to see. So my... in your spending wallet. Yes, ma'am. You can get those. Does it does it list them there? You can see them there, right? Yeah, I can. It says four MQT. Yeah, so my, tap uh, on tap on move quest and it'll you'll have a pop-up that comes up and it'll ask you uh how many you want to withdraw. You just put max and it'll just send them back to your external wallet. Oh, okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. There we go. Mr. Yep. Benjamin Brown. Good stuff, good stuff. Man, yeah, he's been in for a while. That's awesome to hear. Having some success there. Eva, your turn. Take it away. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hi, can you hear me now? Yep, we can. How are you doing, Eva? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I've been attending all these meetings. And um, just one quick question, because Vroom has not taken effect yet, but I do, I'm do. i on the road a tremendous amount. And uh, just curious as to what you see happening with that uh, particular aspect of this platform. Um, when we get to that point, Eva, I'll let you in on all that. <laughs> Okay. It's taking me a little too far too late in the night. Um, oh. <laughs> that's on the Binance Smart Chain. And so that's oh, all so going to be. not on Avalanche. Okay. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll move. Eventually, it will only be move quest. So there's a whole plan coming to fruition over there on the Binance Smart Chain. It's going to shape that up real fast, which does include those tokens. But I don't want to get into that tonight. Because when I okay. do, I'm going to need everybody to just focus on that. And not mix it in with all this for everybody that's been mining over there on that smart chain. 
but yeah, once I once I put that into motion, that is going to shape up real fast. It's um also, you know, all I'm working on engaging people to participate. I've spoken to many, many people and there is sometimes some difficulty. There's still a learning curve, I think, also because there's been some um, technical glitches, whether it be updates or what have you. Um, and I was told in order for our um, link, which we send out for people to take a look at the platform, that prospective person needs to have in order for our um, referral code to validate, they have to have AVAX in their wallets. They have to, in other words, they have to be able to uh, have a minimal amount. Um, yep. So I just wanted some clarity on that. Yes, you're absolutely correct. You have to have AVAX. Anytime you're going to record to the blockchain, you've got to have their coin. And so anytime you're going to make a call to a contract, you got to use the AVAX. So you always have to have AVAX. And that includes our referral links. In other words, I'm sending out, nice. here's the information, take a look. And then they have to fund that initially so that this way. Um, yeah, if they're they going to to activate, it's going to, I don't know what it is, a nickel, something like that. I don't know. But yeah, because it's recording them on the blockchain. It's linking their wallet to your wallet. It's it's everything okay. on chain. Literally everything about this project is completely on chain. So anytime you push a button, you're making a call to a contract or you're recording something uh, to the blockchain and you're going to pay a fee because the blockchain's charge a fee. We're not charging a fee. We make nothing on that. It's the blockchain fee. And that's across okay. the board anywhere you go. So it's that's just the way it is. So, yep, if they're going to save you, activate uh, and connect to you um, as the person who referred them, it's going to record it to the blockchain. So you can go to the blockchain. You can see that they connected to you. It's all recorded. It's all transparent, completely decentralized. It all has to happen that way. You're putting together, um, I, I would assume, with the new launch to an easier way. I guess you guys have talked about it, uh, a format that will make it easy to enroll people. Because not everybody can make the meetings. And sometimes I stumble a little bit with my explanation. Um mm -hmm particularly if someone doesn't have any experience at all with crypto. There's a lot of skepticism and I want to come out obviously uh, with as much information, but also make it user friendly for them too. So I don't have to hold their hand through the whole process. So when the new app comes out, it will hold their hand for you. Yay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. You're welcome, Eva. All right. Come back, man. Last one for the evening. Come back, man. Go right ahead. Get more. Last one, my friend. Catch it on the, on the next one. Come back, man. Go ahead. Going once. Going twice. And I mean, I muted you. Let's try that again. I'm going to click unmute. Don't hit the button. Let's try it again. You're unmuted, I think. There you go. Talk. <laughs> All right. Technical difficulty. No, no big deal. All right. We're done. Come back, man. If you got something, just say it in the chat, I guess. If you got a question while we wrap this up. But uh, this has been awesome. It's been incredible. I actually uh, got too excited. Lost my voice. Came back. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. As hydrated as I am, see the new app. So yeah. we're hopefully oh, yeah. going to be testing it this weekend. Um, and if everything goes smooth, it'll be next week. Awesome, that's great news. That's right around the time we said it might be ready too, didn't we? <laughs> Just right around the time. That's perfect. Um, yeah, y'all gonna love that thing. It's a uh, it's awesome. It's awesome, man. Uh, and you did drop a couple of little nuggets there about the enrollment flow. I, I saw that. I, I don't think people were ready. I don't think a lot of people heard what you said. But uh, yeah, the Lenny to like oh very yeah, quick, yeah. That, that I don't think I don't think a lot of people knew that. Uh, I hope yeah. I caught that. That's going to be huge. Yeah. Go ahead, Herschel. I hear you. Oh no! Listen, this has been wonderful. Lots of good nuggets, information, and things to think about this evening. The recording will be posted in the Telegram group um, as soon as 
it downloads and I can upload it and create a link and send it over there. So uh, within the next hour or so or less, it should be there. There we go. As always, thank you, Ms. Lynette, for being here with us this evening. We will have Ms. Lynette at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, same link, uh, to go over some more nuggets of information uh, for everyone. So Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, same link. And as always, we do Hang not have... Quick. I just want to interrupt you real fast, Herschel, because okay. somebody just asked a question that I think is kind of important. Okay. Uh, I got to go find it again here real quick. I'm really sorry to interrupt you, oh, but no, I no do problem. want a question. Okay. When will the compensation for Lenny's end? Okay, here's the thing. Mm. So the Get Fit Mining has got a compensation contract. When we move into MoveQuest, it does not. It's just got a direct uh, referral. However, the Get Fit Mining contract will communicate with the MoveQuest contract. So those of you who are here in that smart contract, you'll still earn these commissions, okay? They're not going away for you guys, just so you know. So if you bring somebody in, you're going to get those commissions. They're going to get a direct commission if they share it. They're not going to get the extra levels. But everybody who's here in the Get Fit Mining contract, commission contract, it's just going to communicate with MoveQuest. So you'll bring somebody in and share the app with them. They'll register in the MoveQuest new smart contract that gives a direct commission, then that smart contract will communicate back to the get fit contract, which will pay you the levels. I, and I, I thought that was important. I wanted to make sure I caught that because oh, no, that's great. Absolutely. That's great. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good one. To that end. And that was a good, that was a good in interruption uh, mm -hmm. because I was about to go to training and in information Q and A. Tomorrow at 2 p.m., we're going to have uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have our daily Monday through Friday um, question and answer training, you know, all of that good stuff, Q&A. And we will be uh, we will have a guest on that call. And hopefully for those of you that have been having issues with making sure your devices are set up properly to track your sleep have questions about how do the, um, what do you call it, shares calculate and all those types of things or whatever, we can gain a little bit more clarity. I did talk so the I did talk to Waleed and he uh, said that he would uh, jump on tomorrow's call um, or whatever. So Waleed is the developer and he's going to grace us with his presence to answer a few questions. So for those of you that are available, Please hop on uh, same link uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, and that will be recorded as well for those of you that are um, have to go to work and may not be able to make it at that time. So other than that, we appreciate your time uh, and attendance this evening. Hope you got something positive out of it. And we're going to go ahead and close this one out so Miss Lynette can go do what she does uh, because she does it well. Until next time, everyone, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. No hey, meeting tomorrow night. Not tomorrow gotcha. night. Saturday, That's tomorrow night. 1 p.m. Eastern. Brandon Ivy tomorrow in the afternoon. No evening overview. Enjoy. She just asked, what is my background? Um, <laughs> advanced calculus. Oh, I'm so surprised. what my level of math is. I'm so surprised. <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. Advanced. Love it. There you go. Actually, tomorrow morning will be Miss Marnita Casa doing the presentation. Oh. 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 oh. a.m. Pacific. And because Lynette will be speaking on Saturday... I won't be doing the presentation Saturday morning at 12 p.m. So we're just going to go straight to uh, Lynette's presentation at 1 p.m. on uh, Saturday. Perfect. There we go. Getting together. Awesome. Sounds good, everyone. All right, everybody. We'll see you next Good night. Bye-bye.